Hi, my name is Eric Bercha. I'm the VP of Product at Davis Instruments, and today we're going to do a walkthrough install of the AirLink air quality monitor for both indoor and outdoor. And now to unbox the AirLink professional air quality monitor. Inside the box we have the quick start guide, the air quality monitor inside the outdoor shelter, the wall mount, the AC adapter with USB cable, screws for the wall mount, and rubberized feet for placing it on a countertop. Now we're going to install the AirLink air quality sensor. First download the WeatherLink app from iOS or Android stores. Once in the app, select the profile icon at the top right, and next to devices, select Add. Select AirLink. There are two options, install on an existing device, meaning you have a weather station already installed at your home, or install on a standalone device. We're going to select the standalone option. Plug in the air link. Next. Once the blue light is showing, you can connect to Bluetooth. We're going to install this as an inside sensor and name the sensor. Now make sure the pin is on uh, your house on the map. Select next. and select your Wi-Fi network. Enter your Wi-Fi password. While the AirLink is configuring, stay within 5 feet of the AirLink to maintain Bluetooth connection. Now you have the option to upgrade your account to Pro or Pro Plus so you can see historical data and chart data on this device. Now the AirLink is installed, you can complete the installation and, or decide to add more sensors. It'll take a few minutes, up to 15 minutes, to process data before you start seeing your first air quality data in the app. For installing indoors or outdoors, install the wall mount correct side up. Slide the air quality sensor on top of the wall mount until it clicks. And when mounting outside, slide the weatherproof cover over the top of the sensor. Now that we've installed both an indoor and an outdoor sensor, we can look at the data on the WeatherLink app. On the home screen, you can see the device that was installed home as the indoor sensor. It's showing the Nowcast AQI, PM1, PM2.5, and PM10 readings, and the temperature and current conditions. When you go into the device, you'll see temperature, a feels like temperature, high low temps, the conditions for the day, the Nowcast AQI, humidity, sunrise, and sunset. You have forecast, both a seven day and an hourly forecast. And then you have the air quality data. We have the indoor home sensor, which is the primary sensor with a now cast AQI reading of 29.2. And the outdoor sensor is reading much higher at 147.2 because of the current conditions outside with uh, wildfires occurring in California. Underneath you can see that we're using the United States EPA AQI, but you can choose from a long list of global AQI measurements. And we have the option to adjust the AQI readings for wood smoke. If the smoke from the wildfire is from wood, you can select this adjustment and it'll lower the AQI reading to be more accurate. But if the fire is from more dangerous materials like homes or other things burning, you do not want to select that. Down further, we have 
readings for both the home and the outdoor deck sensor. For current AQI, 1 hour AQI, high AQI, PM1, 2.5, and 10. And beneath that, once you've received a number of hours of data, you will see an hourly average AQI chart for 24 hours. Because the sensor also has a temperature and humidity sensor installed, you see an indoor temp and humidity for the indoor sensor I installed and the feels like heat index. At the bottom of the app, there is a record section. Once you have a lot of data, several days, months, or years of data for your air quality sensor, you can see the high AQI, low AQI, and all-time records for any year, month, or day.